This is your crazy cool chick, Cola, and on this episode of The Come Up, I get to sit with a Kenyan band whose name literally means Voices of the Sun. All right, guys, it is going to be a soulful jam session. You do not want to miss it. Stay tuned on The Come Up. Our guest today is a Kenyan Afro pop band that was formed in Nairobi. The industry took notice when the band released their critically acclaimed debut album, Mwanzo, with numerous accolades and the release of their album, Live and die in Africa, Sauti Soul has proven to be one of the biggest bands out of Africa. Guys, today I am super duper excited because we are trying something a little bit different on the come up. Um, it's just one girl, but I got four really <laughs> handsome men next to me. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I feel so special. Um, <laughs> guys, you are looking at the one and only Salty Soul, and they are composed of the following members. Okay, so we have Chimano. Yeah, yeah. And Polico. Yeah. 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 Wow. I did nice. it right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm too well ready. You're good. Yeah. Thank you. You're too good. Yeah. I mean, it only took me like a hundred tries yeah. to, to remember it. Like, you guys are blessed, man. Thank, Thank you. you. You're blessed as a group. You're blessed with your music. Um, it, your music is like timeless music. Um, it's like the heartbeat of Africa. Um, um, you know, you guys, the, guy, the guys are from Kenya. Yes. Okay, so actually let's start there. Mm -hmm, yeah. How is it growing up in Kenya and how possible was your music career to actually happen in Kenya at that time? I mean, um, growing up in Kenya is just like growing up in any other African country. And um, music is not perceived as a serious like career. You know, your parents are still always going to refer to the normal the norm lawyer doctor engineer. you know engineer route and we ended up we, we actually did go to university and study different things but music is just our passion and we didn't stop even when a lot of people were telling us to stop like you wouldn't be playing you wouldn't be strumming guitar until you're 50 like people say some really hurtful things when you're on the camera but at the end of the day it's not about making money in another career it's about being happy in your passion and we've, we've just been chasing it chasing life and here we are all right so when did you guys first get like bitten by the music bug let me start with this the unfortunate thing is, i guess within the whole african society or just being in kenya you don't get to realize or even your folks don't get to realize how talented you are at a very young age so those are things you just bump into like for example one day i'm just singing a song along uh, along to a song on the radio and I'm just like, oh, in my head, I'm just like, oh, I can actually sing, can make a joyous oh. noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not bad. I make a sound. I make a sound, and it's, yeah, and it's not <laughs> bad at all. I guess I was like 10, and so I used to, I used to take my mom's gospel tapes, cassettes, and that was the time I, we still had a little boombox looking radio kind of thing, stick in the cassettes and you remember press the record and play together so that you can record on top of it. Ah. So it erases the songs from the top of my mom's cassettes. <laughs> and then I record myself singing. Oh, she must so have been pissed. Oh, oh, yes, she was. And then gospel <laughs> cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> a gospel, oh my God, right. I can imagine. Right. When she's trying to get her prayer on. <laughs> when she's trying to get her prayer on. And then you're there. <laughs> she's like, that, that, that voice. I've heard that voice so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah. Yeah, then the caning started, but then it was good. I was uh, spared the road, spoiled the child. Okay. Look, yeah, look where I am right now. <laughs> okay, um, right now, obviously, MTV Base, we're all about the music. Yeah, so we're going to hop into a music video and then get back to our conversation. Right. Right. So, guys, you're not off the hook. Oh. It's just starting. Oh, nice. 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 No, no, no. 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 <laughs> like, it just started. Okay. Shimano, we just started. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> um, okay, let's come up. Savara, yeah. okay. You give us a song. Give us a song that you loved uh, to listen to when you were growing up. It has to have a music video, of course, because uh -huh. we gotta we gotta play it for the people at home. Um, yeah, what's the song? Um, growing up, yeah. so songs that inspired me. Hey man, I have so many. L Lucky Dube is nice. Prisoner, Prisoner Lucky Dube really inspired my upbringing. Okay. Yeah. I am a prisoner. Prisoner. Ooh, I got chills. You know? Okay, guys, thank you for joining me. Still here with Saki So. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. handsome brothers from Kenya. So let's take it all the way back. Yeah. How did you guys come together as a group? Yeah. We, uh, we met in high school. 
So Chimano, Dublin and myself, Savara and myself were in the same high school and we sing the choir together and then we met Polygap just shortly after high school. I met Polygap in a guitar store. And in a record store. Music store yeah. And he, he was carrying a guitar and I was carrying a guitar too. So we started talking just on the basis of your guitars. And I invited him to our rehearsal and then we just started jamming together. But when we met that was 15 years ago. We were 15 years old in high school. Yeah, high school. Wow. Yeah. We met and we've just been jamming since, man. It's from friendship to business to brotherhood, you know. Okay, wait, hold on. Polygon, what was the amount you guys got paid for your first show? $10 each, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is just enough for your fare, uh, for your lunch, and that's it. And then we sing like a whole Gosh, three hours yeah. mm. <laughs> on what? stage. Yeah. Went, like, and, like, went and got junk food, I remember. Yeah. Like, our approach, our approach was really different because we, we are like jam session kind of artist. Mm. We are not like studio directly. Before we became like slightly studio artists, we are jam session artists. Whereby we jam with the guitar, he plays the guitar and the three voices. So we can sing anywhere. So we were enjoying it more than even thinking about the money. money. Oh. <laughs> All right, okay, so I want to ask you guys, was there ever a situation, right, that we know that sometimes money can come in between groups, right? But, but after money, the girls. So was there ever an issue well, let's say maybe you were trying to toast a girl, but then she oh, right here. Tell about her. toasting a girl. Yes. Let me tell you about someone who toasts girls here. Yeah, girls. <laughs> yes. Oh. No, no, no. So you guys ever oh, had a situation what's the with of the... toasting? Yeah. 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 Like, oh, like if if you're hitting on a girl or oh, somebody then else, and then somebody else oh, in the group yeah. also likes the girl. Slicing. Oh, slicing. Oh, you guys call it slicing. Yeah. Yeah. Slicing. Yeah. 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 Slice. Yeah. Yeah. Slice. Slice. It's a slice. In Nigeria, we toast. In Kenya, you slice. I love it. Okay, so any slicing stories? I think I think the best person, the most suited person to explain that because he's the culprit is a poly. Cup. Oh, so um, I'm a slicer. Oh my! <laughs> that's how unsuspecting the no, quiet we, we do this. No, we do this in interview so that it seems like very unexpected oh, and then consistent. Oh, oh, yeah. So like it has never, and that's that's one of our, like our greatest achievements. We always say that like being able to stay together yeah. is our greatest However, achievement. However, everybody also has different tastes. Ah, so, yeah. Very true. Like, like I like yeah. taste and preference. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we're gonna tell. We're gonna come into that. <laughs> yeah. yes. ah, I wanna know oh, what your yeah. tastes are, what your yeah. preferences are, what yeah. type of bread yeah. you like to slice. Oh. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. We're gonna get into that. Okay, Chimato, give us a song. Um, a, what, a song that you really resonated with when you guys were going through trying to build the name Satu Soul and trying to get people to pay attention to the band. Uh, and then you said it's a video. <laughs> I know, it's a lot. It's that a cheeky lot. Love, it's, it's a lot. The song, hmm. Um, Wild Thoughts by Rihanna DJ Khaled. <laughs> wow. I'm kidding. So you were hearing it back then. I'm kidding. Dad, you got the hey, fun. You're way ahead of me. All right, guys, we're going to keep on vibing while you guys enjoy that music video. Guys, Sati so they got, they got the plug. <laughs> I feel like the luckiest girl in the world right now because I got these four hot, handsome gentlemen, also known as Sati Soul. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. When was your big Mama I Made It moment as a group? So that one performance that you guys had, and it was like, oh my gosh, this is how we feel like we're solidified, we're in this game. Well, when we performed at the MTV Awards. Yes, I was gonna say. When we performed at the, the MTV Awards, mm -hmm. at the Mamas, that was, that was, that was, uh, an amazing mama I made it moment from a standpoint of now the whole continent can see us and we're performing on a platform on, on this big music channel that supports like artists a lot and is a big and integral part of pop culture and we're at this award ceremony in this amazing production it was so dope so it was at that point we were just like yep yeah MTV man has been such in fact our mama I made it moments have all been MTV moments mm -hmm. when you think about it because uh, we actually were nominated on 2014 as a wild card. Yeah. And we won the Best AMA. African Act mm -hmm. at the EMAs. Mm -hmm. And then we won 
again, best African act at the Mamas last year. Yeah, yeah. And, we, and those have been the defining moments of South Sports career. So I think I want to thank MTV. Well, you know, we do what we can. Yeah. We do what we can. <laughs> the brothers. <laughs> that one should be called Mama, I made it. Mama, I made it. Mama, I made it. I love it. My friend, it's please. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We'll cut it to you. We'll cut it. So we can exchange We'll exchange kind of way. Okay, all right. Um, Let's see. Bien. All right, you're going to throw us into our next music video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a song that actually transcended borders. It's a sort of song that people love. It's called Kuliko Jana. So enjoy Kuliko Jana. Still here with my favorite guys, oh, Salty yeah, Soul. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Mama you guys are like, uh, yes, <laughs> Mama <laughs> Mama <laughs> Mama <laughs> Mama <laughs> Let's. Uh, first of all, I want to know a little bit about your own personal style. Let's go with your. Let's get it. Uh, my style. My style is pretty um, simple. It's very Afro chic, as you can see. Like, just print. Um, just making it as African as I can. Yeah, like hats. I'm a yeah hat. I was gonna say you have like a Malcolm X kind of thing going on with the beret, you know. For hey. the Black Panther. Black Panther, yeah. Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, I'm, loving it. Okay. yeah I'm, I'm street. I'm street, and I don't. I don't. Over time, I've come to. She said, like, I'm street. <laughs> Um, you know, like, 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 catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? All right, what about you, man? Um, I like symmetry. You know, like I like when things that have like symmetrical cuts. Okay. I like print that is also symmetrical. So like if I'm wearing print, it has to be like in lines. Also that like, it has to come with some flow. All right, Shimano, what's you? Um like monochrome a lot okay. so i like wearing monochrome with a statement piece on top mm. so if it's like monochrome but then a studded leather jacket monochrome or like just like gold boots or something oh something wow like that. so okay. i prefer having one item that stands out or even if it's like wearing a suit i'd wear a suit but then i'd wear like gloves with it oh, yeah okay. all right so you're like a stylish type of, i mean you're all very very stylish by the way okay so while the guys continue to talk about whose style evolution has been the most major we are going to take a quick break but i want you guys to join in on the conversation please go to all of their social media pages right now find the pictures that you thought were like your sense of style? Nah, honey, nah. Mm -hmm. You just need to burn that, get rid of that, never should have worn that. <laughs> Make sure that you tag us and tweet at us at FTV Base West and use the hashtag the come up. But do not go too far because when we come back, a lot more stimulating conversation with Sati Soul. You are watching the come up on MTV Base. Still to come on the come up. We had a bit of a dark moment in our careers and we weren't getting booked. And we, like it was just a, one of those moments, yeah. and then was transitioning also oh, broke also. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back to the come up. It is your crazy cool chick Cola, still holding it down, and I've got Sati Soul in the building. They have been giving us some really intimate stories about their life, mm. uh, some things that I had no idea, and um, getting in on each other as well, which is all in the spirit of brotherhood. I'm <laughs> yeah. loving it right now. Oh, okay, uh, right now, I guess in our conversation, we are at Inspiration Station, and I want to know what keeps you guys going. Now, at this point in your career, I think some people will look at it and be like, you guys are successful, there's nothing else that you should like want to do, like just chill and relax, but obviously you guys are still pushing. Yeah. So what keeps you all inspired? Savada. Uh, a lot of stuff like I would say first of all staying together <laughs> staying together and I repeat yeah staying together has really inspires us shows us like they inspires us to continue working together because we've seen the spirit of unity we've seen what four heads can just do what if the whole world was just now so I mean I mean being together always inspires us like every day every day as we achieve every achievement that we do every day, what well, we, we, we get, I think, inspires me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. All right. And as musicians, it's important to keep creating and yeah. recreating and experimenting. Yeah. And one of the ways that musicians do that is through collaborations. Yeah. So let's get a little bit into that. You guys have had some pretty amazing collaborations. You've done it with Yemi Alade, Diamond Platinums. Like, you guys have really, really been out there. So I want to know, um, what do you guys want to collaborate with? We've been working through this year with different artists yeah. in Nigeria, especially yeah. because this is like the Hollywood of the continent. So, um, so far we've worked with Wiz. Oh, we've done a song with Davido to me. Oh. Uh, we've done a song with Tio Savage, at the ranking at the Kumbi Gold. Burn up. And Burner Boy. We're just working with these guys that's taught us different things. A lot of the Nigerian culture too. Yes. You know, and, the banters are fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's get into the music. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually a fun collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go with which one of my guys right now? <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah. So collaboration, I'd, I'd pick. Uh, Saudi Soul, Us, and Yemi Alade. Okay. Africa. Africa. And I love that song, by the way. Y'all were getting it. Y'all were little, little, little dancing. I was like, oh, okay, let me find out y'all can move. I had no idea. <laughs> Still kicking it with Saudi Soul. Um, okay, so guys, this is kind of where we start to get really in depth in your story. Um, because, you know, I'm sure it's fun and games, but not every single thing has always been fun and games, right? There's been times where it's like, bruh, are we even gonna make it? Is this music thing even like a, a reality? Mm -hmm. So has there ever been a situation where you guys kind of felt like, you know what, it's not gonna work? No. Funny enough, no. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay, y'all. Yeah. cocky and confident. Like. <laughs> no, no, but you guys, I mean, we have, we have had, like, really dark moments. Like, yes. I remember the time when, when we used to live together in a house, and our landlord used to live at the back. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time, they wouldn't play our music on radio because it was just different. And uh, we had to do music that conforms to the norms of radio. But before we came to that point of realization, we had a bit of a dark moment in our careers, and we weren't getting booked. And we, like, it was just a, one of those moments. And then we're transitioning also. We're broke also. Yeah. And we're yeah, so broke. That can, that can put broke. You down. But the funny thing is, in the lowest moments is when we like have found peace in mm. you know the brotherhood and we. What, what, what is there to eat is what we eat, you know. <laughs> we ate noodles and eggs for bit like fish. six months, for eight Small months. Wow. <laughs> and, and you know, you know, you know, you know, you know the tiny fish called yeah, yeah. Daga? I don't know call them Daga, what do you guys call oh, them? Like the really tiny yeah. one? The tiny one. Yeah. I know and sardines. It's sardines, kind yeah. Of, sardines yeah. So we used to eat, I remember we used to eat noodles and sardines every day. Like you remember how Biggie rapped and said, remember when I used to eat sardines for dinner? Yeah. That was our life. Okay, guys, let's, since they gave me a little bit of the downy, <laughs> the downy, downy, they were like, oh. The happy, happy side. Yes, yes, so now give me the happy side. Well, the grass, the grass is green on that side. Yes, on this side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like, uh, we've, had, uh, we've had quite good moments, like very, very nice, uplifting moments just just to push us through there's a time yeah we played we played uh, we played for the american president and he danced he actually danced for uh, the former american president barack? barack obama my uncle barack Yo, yes. 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 yes my uncle we are you? You? not invited for the dinner were you? you know um i, I had choir practice so i couldn't make it that day hey. 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 i mean if i didn't go my uncle barack would have been pissed he's like you go to the lord first yeah. <laughs> that's, like, no that's a good answer yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a good one <laughs> yeah, you're playing for my uncle. Yeah, yeah, your uncle is such a good dancer, also, oh, you know. You. <laughs> and it was organic. <laughs> it was really organic, it wasn't like really planned. Mm -hmm. And the way, you know, the way he just stood up and walked towards us and started jamming. Like, that's, I think that's when I realized how powerful that, that, that man was or is. Because immediately he just walked towards us. I've never seen such many cameras. Phone cameras. Everybody was just like, "Whoa!" <laughs> it was like it was like a new single. <laughs> <laughs> it was a new single. It was actually a new single because it put us in very good spaces. 
Now you know, oh, you, you, you guys met Barack, it's changed our, our reputation. People all have started looking at us seriously. Okay, <laughs> to the music now. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite song of the moment right now? Like the song that you play to just turn up? My favorite song at the moment yeah. has to be Q Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Welcome back to the come up. I still got Sauti Soul in the building. And I hope you guys are ready because you all are in trouble. Oh. Are we now? You wow. are in trouble. Where's the ruler? <laughs> I know, right? You need a spanking. <laughs> Some people in Kenya, I should say, did not feel that way. Apparently, you guys had tweeted something or you had said something about both parties right now in Kenya. And <laughs> really was not too friend friendly. So yeah. I want to give you guys the opportunity to clear it up or to say your side of the story. Because it's easy for blogs to be like, Sati So said this and da 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 da. But let's just hear from Sati So now what they have to say. What I'm going to say is. Uh, I think we owe it to ourselves to be better citizens and to vote better, to be more informed. To or what we meant was that we would like people to get away from the sideshows of politics and actually get to the real issues and discuss about manifestos and discuss about track records of the leaders who've been there and discuss development as a whole. So it was not our intention for that to go that way. Okay, no, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. So has there ever been a time, Polly, between you guys? And I mean, obviously, if you don't feel comfortable going to specifics, you don't have to. I'm not trying to air out your, your business. <laughs> uh, you know, but if there's ever a time, just even a general situation where you guys are like, ugh, like... Chiyoma's always like, should we punish Chimano? Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> I mean, uh, as, as, as a band and as any other band or group out there, even as siblings, people always have these arguments. Always, always. But then it's the respect between each other that, you know, overrides all that. So we do have these arguments, but it's not, it's mainly on the music than anything else. Just about the music, like, yo, I want this song to sound like this. And also about other things as well. I mean, life, life things and any other things that come up. But then the respect for each other overrides everything. Okay. I mean, I know, like, for me, sometimes the biggest decisions that I have to make, honestly, is what am I eat for dinner? Because that decision, yo. All women have that problem. Do because they don't know what they're going to eat, and then they're going to eat from your plate. Yeah. Your plate <laughs> half of your food. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I just came from a relationship. Yeah. And my girlfriend's eating all my food, okay? No. <laughs> I think I broke up with my girlfriend because she kept eating my food. <laughs> Loving it. Okay, uh, let's get into the music. Music video time. Uh, Savara. Yeah. All right, give Savara. me. Savara. Uh, give me your favorite turn up song. Let's turn up song? Up. Yeah, turn up, shut up. Yo, everybody wanting to be the big dog, Garanya. Oh, Garanya. Everybody wanting to be the small dog, Garanya. My God, the blessing me. Oh, Garanya. Believe in yourself. Oh, Garanya. You gotta love these guys because one person starts singing and then the rest of them, you guys just fall in. You find your harmonies out of nowhere. Like, I I'm loving it. The brotherhood. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go actually and take a break. But before that, we do wanna ask you a social media question. Okay. And it comes from Miss D. And Miss D wants to know, okay, she, she came through with it. She came said, through. Have you ever wanted to break up? Uh, one ten. No. 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 Not yet. No, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like a relationship with someone and you like even yes. as a woman most of the time, like you feel like you've been with this guy for seven years. And you're wondering if you break up, will I have wasted seven years of my life? Or will I be starting a new life? <laughs> like, you know? So we are, we, are, we are really much at that point, very much at that point where we look back and it's 15 years strong. Oh, yeah. And it's just going to be a waste if we break up now. <laughs> but the more we go in it, the harder it is to yeah, get out of it. Yeah. None of us, none of us have, has had a solo career before. So, yeah. like, we are so, we, we yeah. depend on each other too much. I don't think I would do that. I, I don't. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay, guys, we're going to take a quick break. Be sure to tweet at us at MTV Base. Why? 
request and use the hashtag the come up let us know if you have any questions for Santi so um, any collaborations that you actually want them to, to do please do not be saying oh listen to my mixtape is fire please we don't want that one just <laughs> okay so I'm their music I'm you know what I'm saying I'm dance, but please yes unless it's K-pop's music because that's fire oh, but keep it locked you are watching the come up on MTV Base still to come on the come up every month Saudi Soul is going to be releasing a new jam, either collaboration or a single from us. Yeah. Welcome back to the Come Up on MTV Base. I have Saudi Soul in the building. Yeah. And they are made up of Polycop, yes. Savara, yeah. Bien, Woo! and Chi. Chiamo. 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 I was going to say Chioma. I was going to say Chioma. No! No, Chiamo! I was going to say Chioma, but I was like, let me. I was like, call behave yourself. Behave yourself. So, you know, I told myself that. Sorry, and Chimano. Okay, so, future plans. What is Sati So looking like five years from now? What are you guys working on? Um, and, you know, what can we expect from the group? For the next year, Every month, Saudi Soul is going to be releasing a new jam, either collaboration or a single from us. We've been very quiet this year, it's because we've been finding ourselves in yeah. recording, but our song with Pato, Tiwa, Berna, Dabido, we is all, we're just going to be... We, we're just gonna be oh, yeah. 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 We're just gonna be popping and you know, yeah. be popping. Yeah. Okay. Also, I'm actually really excited. Um, you guys have really great collaborations. This burner one, I'll definitely be on the lookout for yeah. the yeah. collaboration with Burner Boy. Um, okay. Let's get into the music. We are still Turn Up Central right now. So, Chimano, what mm. is your favorite Turn Up song right now? Ladies and gentlemen, the song that is gonna come up next is by an amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing band who are seated right here. Four guys, very handsome, with an amazing, amazing, amazing chick who is making our night. The song is by Sifo Pedro from Angola. It's called Love Again. Oh my god, I love yeah, it. Let's believe in love again. Welcome back to the Come Up on MTV Base. I am here with Saudi Soul, yeah. and unfortunately, it's coming to the end of our show. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that was a huge yay. Oh my god, Chimano, you hate us. Chimano, I thought we were friends. <laughs> well, you, you know what you did. <laughs> I know, I gave you an Igbo name. Yeah. And I'm, I apologize for that. Mm. But Chimano, can we be friends? Okay. Can we, can okay. we shake on it? Uh, okay. Shake okay. up now. Okay, shake. we're friends. We're yeah, friends. we're friends. Frenzies. Twinsies. Frenzies. Oh, Ooh, yay! yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. You guys have been so amazing, and I feel so honored. Um, and you know, you guys have always just been falling in line and falling into harmony. So I think it'll be a great way to end the show. Mm -hmm. Let's get let's get the guitar in here. Yes, yes, Victoria, strut your stuff. Thank oh, you, yes, Victoria, struts. for the guitar. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Right, and um, you guys are gonna do. Uh, what song are you guys gonna be performing? Let's, let's do a love song. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So. All right, so who's going to introduce the song? And then? This song is about uh, redemption, peace, and love. Bwana ni mokozi wangu, tena ni kiongozi wangu, eh. Ana ni benda, leo guliko jana. Bwana kaza ke azikwishi. Sikama bina kama badiliki eh Ana nipenda leo kuliko jana Kuliko jana Kuliko jana Yesu nipende leo mimi kuliko jana Oh my god that was beautiful, Sati. So thank you guys so much. I don't ever want you guys to just like stop singing. So like, please don't, Never don't know. ever, ever, ever stop. What you guys create is beautiful, thank it's you. magic, and the world needs it. So thank you, continue. thank you so much for having us, man. Of course, of course. Thank you guys for being here. Well, guys, this is it for this episode. Um, Sati, so amazing, Sad. amazing, amazing. It, Sad. it was it the is. best interview 
galiba. Söyle. Ama geldi mi? Ay finally said it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yes. Hey, can yeah, I, yeah, let's yeah, get those yeah, strings yeah. back up. Let's get those mm. them strings. Them strings. She wants to be rich. She wants to be famous. She wants to have lots and lots of money. Sorry about the past. She wants to be free. Like Nancy Mandela. She's not tall like a pyramid. So, so courageous. 